assignment problem assignment problem is assigning each job to a person where the processing time is given we should make sure that only one job is assigned to a person now we look at a university question here in this question we have to assign four sales persons to four different sales region in such a way that the total sales is maximized the data is given and the data represents the annual sales figures in lakhs of rupees since it is a maximization problem first what we have to do is we have to find the maximum value from the total data the maximum value here is 24 so after getting the maximum value we have to subtract each value from the data with this 24 so what we will get is 24 minus 10 will be 14 24 minus 22 will be 2 24 minus 12 will be 12 24 minus 14 will be 10 16 minus 24 will be 8 24 minus 18 will be 6 24 minus 22 will be 2 24 minus 10 will be 14 24 minus 24 will be 0 and same for all the other values so it will be 4 12 6 8 10 0 4 since we have two 24s we can take any 24 it will result in the same data so after getting this normalized value we have to get we have to do the row reduction in the row reduction we have to find the smallest value in each row in the first row the smallest value will be 2 and in the second row it is again 2 third row it is 0 and in the fourth row it is again 0 so we have to subtract each value in the first row we have to subtract each value with this 2 so in the first row you will get it as 14 minus 2 will be 12, 2 minus 2 0, 12 minus 2 10, 10 minus 2 8. And in the second row, we have to subtract the second row values with the smallest value which is 2. So 8 minus 2 will be 6, 4, 0, 12. Same for the rest two, uh, two other rows. Here it is the 0, so you will get the same values. It is 0, 4, 12, 6 and in the fourth row it is again 0, so same values 8, 10, 0, 4. Next, we proceed with the column reduction. In the column reduction, we have to find the smallest value in each column. In the first column, it is 0. Second column, it is again 0. Third column, we have two zeros. We can pick either one of it. I am picking the first one. And in the fourth column, it is 4. So to do the column reduction, we have to subtract each value in the first column and subtract it with the 0. So 12 minus 0 will be 12. So you will get the same values 6, 0 and 8. In the second column, subtract each value with the 0. So again the same values 0, 4, 4, 10. And in the third column, subtract each value with the 0. 10, 0, 12 and 0. Fourth column, the smallest value is 4. So subtract each value in this column with this 4. So 8 minus 4 will be 4, 12 minus 4 will be 8, 6 minus 4, 2, 4 minus 4, 0. So after doing the column reduction, we have to allocate the zeros. For the allocation of zeros, what we have to do is, in each row, we have to make sure that only one zero is present. If suppose one zero is present, I will just allocate that zeros. If more than one zero is present, I will not allocate it. I will just leave it as it is. So in the first row, there is only one zero, so I am allocating it. And I also have to make sure that this allocated 0 should not intersect with any allocated 0, other allocated zeros. And in the second row, again I have only one 0, I can allocate it, but I am making sure that it does not intersect with any other allocated zeros. Suppose if I allocate with zeros, if, suppose if I allocate this 0, there is no other zeros here, so there is no problem. And there is no other zeros here, but here there is another 0. But since it is not an allocated 0, I can allocate this 0. And in the third row, this zero is there. There is no other allocated zeros on either side of it. So I'm allocating it. In the fourth row, I have this zero. Suppose if I allocate this, it will intersect with my already allocated zero. So I cannot allocate this zero. I'm going to this zero. So if I allocate this zero, it does not intersect with any other allocated zero. So I can allocate this one. Now there is only one allocation for each salesperson to each sales region. So I can say it as first salesman is assigned to the second region, second salesman is assigned to the third region, third salesman is assigned to the first region and the fourth salesman is assigned to the fourth sales region. Now we have to get the values from the original data. The second sales region, the value is 22, 
the second salesperson is assigned to the third sales region which is again 22 third salesperson is assigned to the first sales region which is again 24 fourth salesperson is assigned to the fourth sales region which is again 20 by summing up all this we get it we get a value of 88 that's it now we'll just have a review of it we are just finding the maximum value from the given data since the question ma mentioned is maximized we subtract all the values from this maximum value and we get another tabular column which is subtracted from this 24 after obtaining this value after updating this tab tabular column we do a row reduction where we select the smallest value in each row and subtract the rows with that smallest value and get this tabular column after the row reduction we do the column reduction where we select the smallest value in each column and subtract it with the smallest value and get the column reduction then we have to do the allocation of zeros the allocation of zeros is made sure that it should not intersect with any other allocated zeros which is done priorly we also have to make sure that during the first allocation there is only one zero in the each row suppose in this rows we can see there are two zeros so what i will do is i won't allocate it in the first side whereas when i'll do the column i'll do i'll go through the column again in the column wise the zero is already allocated so there'll be no problem in the second column also there is an already allocated zeros so there'll be no problem in third column there's again an already allocated zero so there'll be no problem in the fourth column i'll allocate this zero if you find that one difficult you can proceed with this one and then we can find that all the zeros are allocated for one salesman to only one sales region and we sum up all the values from the original data thank you